Tony T here from Tony'sPicks.com with our college football pick show here. Week 7, part 2. We'll get you 10 picks from the games from Saturday, October 12th. Before we get you the picks, if you're looking for my best bets, my premium plays, click the link in the description. That'll take you to my page over at Tony'sPicks.com. And for more free pick videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel. All right, let's get this one started. All right, Washington and Iowa college football pick. This one here on Saturday. All right, let's get to the game here. In this one, Washington improved to four and two, a twenty-seven to seventeen home win to Michigan. The Huskies gained four hundred and twenty-nine yards, one hundred and fourteen rushing for three point three yards a carry on defense. They allowed two hundred eighty-seven yards to the Wolverines, one hundred thirteen passing on twenty-five attempts. Will Rogers here. 21 to 31 passing for 271 yards with two touchdowns and a pick. Iowa fell to 3 and 2, a 35 to 7 road defeat to Ohio State. The Hawkeyes put up 226 yards, 116 rushing for 4.3 yards a carry. Defensively, they allowed 412 yards to the Buckeyes, 203 rushing for 5 yards a carry. Cade McNamara here, 14 of 20 passing for 98 yards and a pick. You know, Washington rushing for 5 yards a carry and getting accurate and efficient quarterback play. The defense has performed well, giving up 3.9 yards a carry, only 4.5 yards per pass step. Iowa, they run the ball effectively, 5.7 yards a carry, but not very efficient with their with their passing game. Defense is still good there, giving up 3.2 yards a carry, just 6.9 yards per pass attempt. But the hot, but the Huskies in their lone road game was held to 18 points at a defensive-minded Rutgers team. They uh, had that loss to Washington State in that neutral site game. In that loss against Rutgers, Huskies allowed over five yards to carry on the ground. Travel has been tough for these teams from the Pac-12 going out, going out, uh, out east. Same thing the other way. Teams coming the other way into, in, in, out west. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take Iowa here at the minus two and a half. All right, next up, Miami, Ohio, and Eastern Michigan. <clears throat> Miami, Ohio fell to 1-4 and four after their 30-20 road defeat to Toledo. The Red Hawks gained 350 yards, 54 rushing for 2.3 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 306 yards to the uh, Rockets here, 318 passing on 39 attempts. Brett Gabbard here, 23-46 of 46 passing for 296 yards with two touchdowns and a pick. Eastern Michigan now... 4-1, a 52-33 road win in Kent. The Eagles posted 486 yards, 273 rushing for 5.5 yards of carry. On defense, they allowed 422 yards of golden flashes, 345 passing on 28 attempts. Cole Snyder here, 26 of 33 passing for 213 yards with a touchdown. He rushed for 53 yards and a touchdown. Miami Ohio struggles with their ground attack, 3.1 yards of carry. They have not been accurate at quarterback and averaged at 6.4 yards per pass attempt. <clears throat> the defense has given up 5 yards of carry along with 6.7 yards per pass attempt. Eastern Michigan here running for only 3.5 yards of carry, but have been accurate and efficient with their passing game. They stop the run, but give up big plays in the passing game by allowing 66% completion rate, 8.5 yards per pass attempt. EMU allowed 33 at Kent, 34 at, at home to Jacksonville State. Play here will be in Miami, Ohio, and Eastern Michigan over 45 and a half. California and Pittsburgh. College football pick here for Saturday. Cal drops a 3 2 after a 39 38 home defeat to Miami. Golden Bears gained 370 yards, 73 rushing for 2.9 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 575 yards to the Hurricanes, 437 passing on 53 attempts. Fernando Mendoza, 11 of 22 passing for 285 yards with two touchdowns and a pick. Pittsburgh now 5 0, a 34 24 row win at North Carolina. The Panthers posted 520 yards, 139 rushing for four yards a carry. Defensively, they allowed 416 yards to the Tar Heels, 269 passing on 45 attempts. Eli Holstein, 25 of 42 passing for 381 yards, three touchdowns and a pick. Tough spot for Cal after blowing that 20-point home lead in the final 10 minutes last week in a very high-profile game. Game day was there, big turnout. Tough, tough flight as well coming up here for Cal. 
Golden Bears have struggled running the football 3.9 yards a carry. That's why they couldn't put away Pitt, right? They, could, they can't run the football. That's what you got to do to milk clock in those spots when you're up 20. Pitt has been outstanding offensive numbers, 5.9 yards per rush, 65% completion rate, 8.9 yards per pass attempt. The Panthers holding team to 3.1 yards per rush along with 56% completion rate. Again, it's the third long road trip the past month for Cal. Remember, they had long trips at Florida State, long trips at Auburn. We'll take Pitt here, minus three. <clears throat> Next up, North Illinois and Bowling Green college football pick. Here for Saturday, North Illinois improved a three and two. Uh, with their 34-20 home win to UMass, the Huskies put up 402 yards, 367 rushing for 6.8 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 378 yards to the Minutemen, 263 passing on 30 attempts. Ethan Hampton here, 5-9 passing for 34 yards with a touchdown and a pick. He rushed for 64 yards and a touchdown. Bowling Green now 2-3. and three. A 27-20 road win in Akron. The Falcons put up 375 yards, 117 rushing for 3.3 yards a carry. Defensively, they held the Zips at 321 yards, 206 passing on 32 attempts. Kind of basically like connected on 24 of 30 for 268. <clears throat> Bowling Green's offense rushing for 4.9 yards a carry, and they've been effective in the passing game. 68% completion rate, 7.5 yards per pass attempt. But on defense, they're allowing 5.3 yards a carry along with 7.2 yards per pass attempt. NIU running for 5 yards a carry, 7.5 yards per pass attempt. They defend the run, holding foes to 3.1 yards a carry, only 6.6 yards per pass attempt. Northern Illinois is 9-1 in the spread as an underdog. Bowling Green has not been able to draw distance on Akron and Old Dominion in recent games. Play Northern Illinois here, plus the three. <clears throat> Akron and Western Michigan College football pick Saturday. Akron fell to 1-5, a 27-20 home defeat to Bowling Green. The Zips gained 321 yards, 115 rushing for 5.2 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 385 yards, or 268 yards passing on 30 attempts. Ben Finley here, 21-32 passing for 206 yards. Western Michigan, 2-3, a 45-42 row win at Ball State. The Broncos put up. 461 yards, 197 rushing for 5 yards a carry. Defensively, they allowed 397 yards to the Cardinals, 329 passing on 35 attempts. Aiden Wolf here, 26 of 29 passing for 264 yards with 3 touchdowns. Zips are a poor offensive team that averages 2.5 yards per rush, 5.6 yards per pass attempt. On defense, they're giving up nearly 5 yards a carry with 66% completion rate for 8.5 yards per pass attempt. Western Michigan is an efficient offensive team, rushing for five yards a carry, completing 67% of their passes, and average eight yards per pass attempt. <clears throat> Defensively, they're giving up four and a half yards a carry, 8.4 yards per pass attempt. <clears throat> Zips only win against an FBS team here, so they have not beaten any F FBS. I should say their only win came against an FCS team, so they haven't beaten any FBS teams. Player will be Western Michigan, minus nine and a half. Louisville and Virginia college football pick Saturday. Louisville drops a 3-2, a 34-27 home defeat to SMU. The Cardinals put up 461 yards, 132 rushing for about 4 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 481 yards to the Mustangs, 291 passing on 28 attempts. Tyler Shaw here, 22 of 35 passing for 329 yards with 2 touchdowns and a pick. Virginia now 4-1. A 24-14 home win to Boston College. The Cavaliers gained 339 yards, 121 rushing for 3.3 yards to carry. On defense, they allowed 319 yards to the Eagles, 254 passing on 30 attempts. Anthony Calandria, 15-26 passing for 179 yards with a touchdown. Cardinals are putting up good offensive numbers, 5.8 yards to carry, 66% completion rate, 9.3 yards per pass attempt. They defend well by surrendering 67% completions for 7.4 yards per pass attempt. The Cavs run effectively 4.8 yards a carry and are efficient passing team. 66% completions, 8.1 yards per pass attempt. They stop the run, giving up 3.4 yards a carry and allow 7.8 yards per pass attempt. Louisville 1-8 to the spread as a road favorite. 
Virginia is 4-1 to the spread at home against winning teams. Two straight losses for the Cardinals. Play here will be Virginia plus the 7.5. Old Dominion and Georgia State college football pick Saturday. Old Dominion fell to 1-4, a 45-37 road defeat to Coastal Carolina. The Monarchs gained 462 yards, 200 rushing for 5.5 yards to carry. On defense, they allowed 515 yards to Chanticleers, 367 passing on 26 attempts. Grant Wilson missed last week's game with an injury questionable here. Colton Joseph, 22-40 of 40 for 262 yards, 3 touchdowns, and a pick. He rushed for 68 yards and a touchdown. Georgia State now 2-2. Two a 38-21 home defeat to Georgia Southern. The Panthers put up 385 yards, 29 rushing on 15 carries. On defense, they allowed 498 yards to the Eagles, 261 rushing for 5.4 yards a carry. Christian Velo, 23 of 45 passing for 356 yards for two touchdowns and three picks. Old Dominion rushes for 4.2 yards a carry, but has had issues at the quarterback position. The team completes 53% of their passes for only 5.2 yards per pass attempt. On defense, they hold opponents to 3.9 yards a carry, but surrender 7 yards per pass attempt. Georgia State runs for 4.3 yards a carry, throws for 6.8 yards per attempt. On defense, they allow 4.8 yards per run, 8 yards per pass attempt. Georgia State has won 2 of 3 with a notable home win to Vanderbilt. ODU plays their third straight road game with their defense struggling in their past three. Play Georgia State here, minus 1.5. Cincinnati and UCF college football pick Saturday. Cincinnati fell to 3-2, a 44-41 road defeat to Texas Tech. Bearcats put up 555 yards, 129 rushing for 3.9 yards a carry. Defensively, they surrendered 482 yards to the Red Raiders, 231 rushing for 6.5 yards a carry. Brendan Soresby here, 31-45 passing for 426 yards with four touchdowns and a pick. He rushed for 52 yards. UCF drops to 3-2. A 24-13 road defeat to Florida. The Knights gained 273 yards, 108 rushing for 2.7 yards to carry. Defensively, they allowed 359 yards to the Gators, 229 passing on 28 attempts. KJ Jefferson here, 12-22 passing for 164 yards with a pick. <clears throat> Cincinnati's put up good offensive numbers, 5.5 yards per rush, 66% completion rate, 9 yards per pass attempt. The Bearcats defense poor here, allowing 5 yards per rush. 7.5 yards per pass attempt. UCF offensively rushes for 5.7 yards to carry, averages 8.8 .8 yards per pass attempt. The Knights defend the run well, but struggle against the pass. Cincinnati 0 and 5 the spread on the road against the winning team. Play UCF here minus three. Purdue and Illinois college football pick. Here we go for Saturday's action. All right, Purdue, they fell here to 1-4, a 52-6 road defeat to Wisconsin. The Boilermakers gained 216 yards, 99 rushing for under 4 yards to carry. Defensively, they allowed 589 yards to the Badgers, 361 passing on 32 attempts. Hudson Card here, 11-21 passing for 111 yards. Illinois drops a 4-1 after a 21-7 road defeat to Penn State. The final line nine gained 219 yards, 34 rushing on 32 attempts. Defensively, they allowed 394 yards to the Lions, 239 rushing for 5.5 yards to carry. Luke Altmaier, 16 of 25 passing for 185 yards with a touchdown and pick. Purdue rushes for 5 yards to carry and completes 63% of their passes for 6.6 .6 yards per attempt. The Boilermakers' defense has been very poor, allowing 240 yards rushing, 5.5 yards to carry, 8.7 yards per pass attempt. Surprisingly here, Illinois is running for just 3.8 yards to carry. Usually a strong running team, but they're getting they're led by a strong passing game this year. They're completing 69% of their passes, 8 yards per pass attempt. The final line I has defended well, holding foes to 4 yards per rush, 59% completion rate. Purdue has been blown out in four straight games, failing to cover each of them. Play here will be Illinois, minus 19. The 
San Jose State and Colorado College football pick. Here we go for Saturday. San Jose State improved to 4 1, a 35 31 home win to Nevada. The Spartans put up 441 yards, 114 rushing for 4.2 yards of carry. On defense, they allowed 416 yards to the Wolfpack, 190 rushing for 5.3 yards of carry. Emmett Brown here, 12 of 28, passing for 170 yards with two touchdowns. Colorado State falls to 2 and 3. A 39-31 road defeat to Oregon State. The Rams got 439 yards, 176 rushing for 4.5 yards of carry. Defensively, they allowed 398 yards to the Beavers, 251 rushing for 5.3 yards of carry. Brain Fowler Nicolosi, 20 of 30 passing for 263 yards with two touchdowns. Spartans rushed for three yards of carry. They are passing uh, for 329 yards per game, 8.1 yards per pass attempt. So the state defends well, holds teams to 3.8 yards of carry, only 56% completion rate for six yards per pass attempt. Colorado State has run the football well, 4.8 yards of carry, but inefficient in their passing game. They struggle defending the pass, giving up 65% completions, 7.2 yards per pass attempt. Only wins by the Rams came against an FCS team, and they beat UTEP at home. San Jose State played Washington State tough on the road, a two-point overtime loss, played San Jose State here, minus one. If you're looking for my best bets, my premium plays, click the link in the description. That'll take you to my page at tonyspicks.com. For more free pick videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you appreciate our work here, give us a like and thumbs up on this video. It really helps our channel. I'm Tony T. We'll talk to you later.